Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session that we are learning on the inventory module of Tally. The feature is price levels and price list. So in the first video, we understood the need for a price list. And we also learned what a price level is and how we are able to create the price levels also we learned. In this video, we will learn how to create the price list now for those price levels that we have created in our previous session. We will create a simple price list and also we will learn how a price list can be attached to a particular level of customer who is a wholesaler or a retailer. So let us go to Tally and learn the feature of creation of price list. In this video, we shall learn creation of simple price list of stock items for wholesale price level and retail price level. In the upcoming videos, we shall learn how to set advanced configurations for price lists. If you see on the screen, the price list is created for stock items where you will see two columns. One is for the price list for wholesale and the price list for retail for the stock items. I have taken few items, just four items I have taken for us to understand and see how to create different price list for different price levels. So if you observe here, if you take the first stock item that is blue star air conditioner one ton the price list for wholesaler is going to be 20,000 rupees and the same item if a retailer is procuring this the price for the retailer is going to be 25,000 so this way you will see a differential price rate for each item between wholesaler and the retailer now let us see how are we going to create this price list in tally select create and under the list of masters we saw how to create the price level in the previous video and now we are going to create the price list for stock item which is the stock group so select price list for stock groups and press enter and you will now observe the stock group name so you will see all the different groups that the businesses have created for their stock item you can select all the item and then specify the price for selected item in some cases you will have lot of groups so under that situation the user can select a particular group and set the price list for those items so let me select all group so once you select all items the next one tally is going to ask you what is the price level so we have Two price levels so first let us create the price list for wholesale price level enter and the applicable date is important it is asking you from what date you want the price list to be applicable for these items as specified in the price list so we will say the applicable date is going to be 1st of april and you will observe here that all the items of all the stock groups are getting listed here so under the group it says all item the price level you know that for which level we are going to create the price list and the applicable date is also provided here so we are going to now select the stock item so our first stock item is you can observe below the table for the prices for wholesaler and retailer so as per the table below the first item is blue star air conditioner 110 so we're going to select blue star air conditioner 110 enter and all you have to do is just press enter and come to the rate because this is a simple price list that we are learning so you're going to say this is 20,000 enter and again don't worry about the discount and other thing we will learn this at a later stage the second item in our list is Voltas air conditioner just type VO and in this case the rate is going to be 25,000 enter the third item is Samsung fridge 183 liters just type SAM and select Samsung fridge 183 liters enter the wholesale rate is 10,000 the last one is LG fridge 185 liters and the rate is 12,000 for the wholesaler so we will select only these many items and for you to save this price list for wholesale the cursor is already there in the end of the list all you have to do is just press enter and accept so we have now created the wholesale price list 
for the four items the next list that we have to create is the retail price list so again we will select all items here enter now we are going to select retail the applicable date is going to be again from 1st of april so we're going to select the same item again you will see the table at the bottom here blue star air conditioner now for the retailer the rate is 25,000. The next one is Ultas air conditioner. The retail rate is 30,000. Samsung fridge 183 liter 12,500. The fourth one is LG fridge 185 liters. The rate is 15,000. So again, the cursor is at the end of the list here. Just press enter and accept. So we have now created the price list for wholesalers and the retailers so come back to gateway of tally now tally has a feature where you can set up the price list for the customers so basically you can identify the customer and once you know that a particular customer is your wholesale customer you can attach the price list in the customer master or in the ledger master that way tally will ensure that whenever you are selecting the party and when you are going to bill for the party automatically the wholesale rate will get applied for that party so how do we set up the price list in the party master let us see let us now go to the alteration of the party master so select alter select ledger and here let us take the first customer as abirami enterprises enter and now you will see here the price level applicable now by default this option will not be visible so what we have to do is just press f12 configure and if you see here there is this option called use price levels for party ledgers since i've made this as yes you are able to see that option in the party master if it is no so let me make this as no enter and when i save this you will observe that the price list for the party master is not visible here so press f12 configure come here and make this as yes and save this configuration and when you come down here to this field you will get the list of all price level that you have created we know that this customer is our wholesale customer so i'm going to select wholesale and set this wholesale price list for this customer i'm going to save this and let us select another customer who's a retail customer my retail customer is let us say kamal agencies and since we have enabled this option just click here and then select retail here and save this that's all you have to do so now since you have attached the specific price list to each of the party whenever we are billing to this party the rate will be picked up from the price list of wholesale for the wholesaler and retail for the retailer let us raise an invoice and see how tally is going to pick up this information so we are in the sales voucher here the date is 1st of april and you will observe that since we have enabled price level this new field is enabled here and let us see what happens when we select the customer ledger so our first customer ledger is abirami enterprises who is our wholesaler just select abirami enterprises and sales ledger and you will observe that automatically tally is picked up the wholesale price level for this party so let us select the item so the item that we are going to sell is blue star air conditioner so now it is asking for the quantity so we will say one number so when i say one number now just see the price list table at the bottom of the screen here this item for the wholesaler the rate should be 20,000. So the moment you press enter here, we will see that rupees 20,000 is picked up from the wholesale price list. So let us select the second item. The second item is Ulta's air conditioner. Again, I'm going to so one number and the rate should be 25,000. So it is automatically picked up 25,000. The third item is Samsung fridge 183 liter, one number and the rate should be 10,000. We can see at the bottom here. So 10,000 it is picked up. LG fridge 185, the rate should be 12,000. It's picks up the rate once you have enabled gst you can now select the gst tax ledger also the moment you select the cgst ledger tally will automatically calculate the tax and sgst also it is calculated the amount so i have a separate playlist for the gst module in tally where i have covered the entire configurations for gst and managing gst module in tally itself end-to-end -end gst compliance so we are going to save this voucher you can press Control a and the voucher is saved now let us make another sales invoice for our retail customer who is Kamal agencies so we're going to select Kamal agencies 
sale center and you will observe here now the price level tally is automatically selected retail since we have specified the price list or the price level in the party master so we're going to select again one number and now again observe here at the bottom the price for blue star air conditioner for retailer is 25,000 when you press enter tally is automatically picked up 25,000. Second one, Altas air conditioner, one number, the price is going to be 30,000. The third one is Samsung fridge, 183. Third item is Samsung fridge, 183 liters, one number, and the rate here is going to be 12,500. The last one, LG fridge, 185 liter, the rate should be 15,000. Again, you can select your tax ledger and tax will get auto calculated. You can come down here, bill wise detail, you can specify the bill wise detail and then you can save this voucher so this way once you specify the rate for each of the price levels while billing it becomes very easy for the user to pull the rate as specified in the price list so this is the advantage of price list in tally where the billing can be done faster and also the person need not have to use any chart or any third party tool to refer what is the price that they have to charge for the wholesaler or the retailer so the entire price list is integrated in tally it becomes easy for the user to pull the rate as specified in the price list i hope this video would have given you a clear understanding of how you can create a price list for a different price level and also we saw how you can attach a price list for a particular level of customer in the upcoming videos we will also see various configurations that you can manage depending on your business requirement on the simple price list itself. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.